welcome to Combat Thoughts. I'm Robbie. I'm Lee. And I'm Alex. We're going to take a deeper look at cultural philosophy behind martial arts. Cool. So, welcome Great. back to Combat Thoughts and our coverage of Polaris. We've been uh, luckily to have uh, some time with Ben Dyson. So, thank you for joining us, Ben. How are you doing? No, I'm not too bad. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Well, with uh, with less than a week to go now, what, what's training look like at the minute? How are you getting on? Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, I'd say everything's kind of been done now already. Just kind of keep myself like <clears throat> go for a few more sessions this week. Um, I've got to yeah teach a couple of classes today, so I'll train in them. Probably have another session, but a light one, um, and then one tomorrow before I fly, and then uh, probably train when I arrive as well. Yeah, because I was going to ask you in Vancouver now. So, what what does coming over look like for you? Is it stressful? Get over oh, it, or it's a bit of a yeah, it's a bit a bit of a ball ache. Like this morning, especially like ah, oh, um, so just with the I don't know, the, the, I've done my COVID test, um, but now even though I've got even though I've my vaccinations, um, supposedly because I wanted to stop and see my mum, my, my family, and everything afterwards. Um, supposedly, I'm supposed to quarantine after the show. Um, even though I've had my vaccinations, because the NHS don't recognise my Canadian vaccinations, it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a nightmare. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get get around that at the moment. But it's been a bit of a curveball. But I've even contacted my GP and and, and things to uh, at home, like to to try and sort things out. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm looking forward to competing anyway. Like, and uh, my family gonna, and everything. I was going to say with and, with COVID being a pain in the ass. You must be kind of chomping yeah. at the bit to compete now. I know in your Polaris uh, trailer, you was kind of saying how ready you are to compete. It must be. Oh good. my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. So ready. Yeah, it's been. I'm just want to get all the rust off. Like, I, I've, it's no substitute. Obviously, like training's training's no real substitute. I'm just, I've stayed super fit and I've trained throughout, but the the, the competition thing is definitely um, is completely different. And I can't wait to get. Yeah, can't wait to get back out there. It's been far too long. I haven't had, I haven't had, like, I haven't had, this has been like three times the, the, the amount of break I've had previously since I started competing, so. I know, because yeah. I've, I've followed you for a while now and I, I've used to pop up all the time, so it's been, a, it's been, it must be tough for you kind of sat at the side thinking, I just want to strangle someone. Yeah, exactly, yeah, especially watching all the, all the folks in the States, like, you know, there's there's something on every week there. Like it's it's been hard. It's been hard, but at least like I say, my time's come now. So yeah, I better take advantage of it. <laughs> well, I mean, to get back into competing, you've not kind of gone on a one match. You've gone into a kind of group setting. We've been asking yeah. everybody, what what do you think of the group set? For me, as a spectator and a fan, I love it. I think it's brilliant. How, how does it yes. impact you? Do you, you enjoy it? Yeah, for sure. I like it. I, I like it purely because I like it because it adds like. You know, you, there's more excitement um, based on the fact that there's you can't really you can't prepare for who you're going to go against, right? So it's it could be could be anybody, um, and that makes it exciting. Um, and I think it makes it a little bit more open too, because people aren't necessarily you've got like eight people that you could potentially match up with, and um, yeah, you can't prepare for eight people. So it's it's a, uh, I, I certainly am looking forward to it. It's the first one, first kind of group one I've done. Mm -hmm. so yeah it's, it's, it's exciting have you done any different prep with it or has it just been kind of same old and see who comes no no, no same, same old as i say with whenever with competition i just make sure that i'm like i just like to feel fit yeah. um and then you know like uh, take it as it comes or, and just make sure i'm ready to give as much as i can give when i'm there mm -hmm. is there anything kind of around who you'd want to fight or not fight is there kind of a w ideal world who you'd want to get out there with um, no, to be honest, I, I'm open. I'm open to any of them. Um, I, I, I just have to feel like I've got a good chance against any of them, and I'm sure they'll feel the same about me. Um, so yeah, it's like I've trained with a few of them before. Like I know, I know a few of them. Um, like I, I spent a lot of a fair while at Atos, so I know, I know Mike Perez. I know, um, and I was down in that Southern California, so I trained with um, Gio and, and, and Richie and those guys before. Um, so I know those. Yeah, it's, it, it's going to be good. The, the potential matchups are, are exciting. I say it's kind of a it's, it's a lucky dip on the day, isn't it? Kind of, 
who you get stuck with and how many fights you kind of yes. get drawn into. I, I know the five minute rounds are kind of the not the longest. I for me that just kind of ups the intensity and everybody will go after it. Hopefully. Sorry, we cut uh, off, then. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, sorry. That's um, I I got a, somebody tried calling me. Um, <laughs> no worries, mate. No worries. Yeah, yeah. No, I was sorry, saying about the bad. five minute, the five minute rounds, and the kind of the intensity that's going to bring. Have you kind of focused on cardio on this? Because I, I think five rounds all out is hard work, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. No, I'm I'm certainly good. Um, like I'm I'm good to go for for, for cardio for sure. So it's a bit a bit of a bit of a mix, though, because obviously with the with the format, like you got to be five minutes is a is a short time as well. So you got to, you know, you got to lay it all out there in that time too. Yeah. And then do you feel there's a tiger on your back being one of the bigger guys? If the little guys can get after you, you can uh, get some extra points. Yeah, for sure. I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's going to be interesting for sure. Like, yeah, it's uh, especially. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I need to. I need definitely need to go over the rules again, with regards to um, w w w with the point scoring. So they, they they score more. They score more points today when um, if the little guys get the big guys. Yeah, there's there's different points for it. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. That makes sense. That's fair enough. <laughs> you're, you're, you're penalized for being one of the bigger guys. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough, isn't it? Twenty kilos is a bit of a jump. Yeah, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so then I kind of want to know about kind of what training has been like in Canada because I know over here everything kind of shut down you said you've been keeping fit has it been yeah. kind of garage yeah. workouts like us here or is it kind of you've been able to get to the gym much yeah um if I'm honest with you like I've had I've got the keys for a couple of gyms here and obviously I I, I run one of them myself so me and from from day one in COVID we're actually day two I think we took the initial lockdown March 16th we didn't train that day but then every other day we trained oh, um <laughs> yeah so like I didn't really I, I, I hadn't stopped in terms of training um maybe like like less intense less competition focused but yep. I've, I've been training throughout and it's been yeah I've been lucky compared to it compared to most and I think people in the UK had had we you'd had a lot harder lockdowns than we'd have here yep yeah, because we we got all the gyms closed. I think quite a lot of gyms haven't survived. So it's been, I know I've been chomping at the bit to get back on the mats, and we've kind of only just been able to do it kind of that, like so. That's so sad. That's terrible. That's like, I hate that. Yeah, that the people haven't been able to like to, to to stay afloat enough to go through. That's that's really sad. But I say, if honestly, if you did, if we'd have done this interview before COVID, I'd have had a jawline and everything. I've had to grow a beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it get that get that line back that's it yeah okay it just helps keep me safe so then <laughs> coming on to kind of Polaris and kind of what the world looks like now it's opening up is this kind yeah. of just the start of you getting back is this kind of compete now get right back into yeah. the nick of it and kind of just yeah. keep flowing yeah yeah exactly that so I've just accepted I've accepted a few things um, obviously I've, I've got to do ADCC trials again um, which come end of September yeah. Um, so I'll fly out for those. Uh, I'm going to probably compete, um, do like a little, uh, the, they have a fight to win or something, I think in Seattle uh, the weekend after that. So I'll, uh, I'll do that. And then uh, I'm do I just signed for the combat jiu-jitsu in Cancun with uh, EBI. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's in October for, um, for the middleweight. So I've signed up for that. So it's coming thick and fast now. At least my diary is filling up. Which is good. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because, like, you've mentioned doing squads. You've just mentioned kind of combat jiu-jitsu. I know you could do yeah. all the other kind of ADCC and stuff. Yeah. Do you taper any of your training to that? Like, is it kind of, do you go specific into camps with it? Or is it just a, it's jiu-jitsu? Yeah. yeah. Yes. A bit of both. A bit of both. Like, for sure. I've, I've like, ever since I started with combat jiu-jitsu, um, like, knew that I would sign it, I would, now add a lot more emphasis on finishing and defending from the back and obviously that arm lock position just because you, you've got to allow for for at least one or two of your matches to go through to that 
right? So yeah. it would be foolish not to, not to, not to, not to. And obviously, it's, it's beneficial anyway to prepare for that. Um, ADCC, like I feel like for over the last couple of years, all I've done is kind of like prepare for that those style of matches. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel uh, under that rule set, I feel I feel pretty good um, with the um, with how that's how they set up with the you know, like the, with the trial format, three minutes submission only, and then three minutes points. I feel like I've done that like ever since. Well, for the last for the last few years, I've been preparing for that, so I feel pretty good about that. Cool. And then I, I don't want to keep you too long because I know you're kind of getting ready to teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're looking at, um, we've been chatting kind of on our podcast about BJJ and the Olympics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had to pick a rule set to kind of take jiu-jitsu into like the Olympics or more mainstream, what, what would your preference be? Um, my preference would be uh, the ADCC trial format for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Six, six minute matches, six minute matches with a small overtime afterwards, but divided first three minutes for um submission only and then the last for points i think that's the best at deciding who the better grappler is because it opens it up to both styles in my opinion yeah no that's fair i mean we've had some kind of weird and eclectic ones as well i mean i think the only ones we've not had is kind of points only which makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. i mean oh i mean uh, i mean some i be jeff you'd rather you'd rather what you'd rather watch uh You'd rather watch an ADCC trials match than a than an, an IBJF like ten minute match eight days a week. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's you know? shown, isn't it? The amount of shows that pop up and kind of the amount of competitions where people get the big names to compete. It's it's in the more fun format. I mean, as a spectator, I love it, but as a competitor as well, you must much more enjoy the exciting matches. Yes, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I love that people are like the, the rules are changing and. People are trying different things. Like, yeah, it's, it's going to be nice to go back and, and try some, you know, like mma style stuff with the, with the combat jiu-jitsu. That's going to be fun too. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I feel about getting slapped in the face. So I, I might stay away from that. One, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever. It's, it's just a slap, in it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've seen I'll some say, of the, I've seen some I'll of the say that now and then someone, someone will finish me in 20 seconds with slaps. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I, <laughs> hopefully, not hopefully not. I'd never live it down, would I? <laughs> That's it. There's always the fear, isn't there, of becoming a kind of a gif or a meme, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's it. That's that. Unfortunately, that's the sport. Yeah. And I thought, the MMA, the MMA guys have that a lot worse than we do. Well, I, I know you used to train with Jeff Lawson, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. His, his judo throw on one of the first Polaris's was kind of yes. saying for a yes. while. That was yeah. The poor fella, yeah, you know that that's had like that's been circulated like, like so many times, with multi million views. The poor, yeah, exactly right. But something like that, that's fair enough. That was that was that was beautiful. Yeah, it's just pure pure skill, but you don't want to be on the other end of it because you never live. No, 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 exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, for sure. But unfortunately, it's the risks we take. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got to get in there and take the risk, but God, it hurts when you get the when you get something bad put on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I don't want to keep you much longer because I know you're training. I know you've got flights to get. Um, best of luck at yeah. the weekend. Um, hopefully we can uh, smash the Americans and show them that uh, Brits and Irish uh, know what we're doing in jiu-jitsu. That's it. Let's, let's hope so. I'm, as I said, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Do you feel any kind of national pride kind of representing <laughs> our side of the Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it would be nice. It'd be nice. Obviously, the, the UK boys and the Irish boys coming together, that's nice, isn't it? You know? Are you, are you kind of a bit of a mole being on that side of the Atlantic? Well, exactly. I'm, I'm a bit of a, you know, I'm a, I'm, <laughs> I live in, I don't live in the States, but I live next door. So, <laughs> you know, I am, I am, I suppose. The team um, might I not am. speak to you for a little bit. It might take them a bit of time to warm to you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I lost a bit of my accent and whatnot, but no. <laughs> awesome. Well, safe travels and uh, best of luck. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much, mate. Um, you, you'll be at the show, yeah? I Sadly, I'm not, but the other guy yeah. who does the podcast with us is. I've uh, All right, nice. got another day, so uh, but we're going to go. We're going to get some videos for our kind of Instagram, YouTube, and hopefully nice. uh, get a good show out of it. 
Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. And yeah, cheers, cheers for having me on. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can do it. See if we can do a job on the Americans. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, man. <laughs>